Hello again, this is Dr. Liptrap, and we are working on problem number 10 in chapter 10 of Dr. Lash's textbook. I'm on page 461 currently in the text. I just want to show you this. There is an assumption that when a company makes money in years 2, 3, 4, 5, etc., they start making money, that they will take the money and reinvest that money back into some sort of investment vehicle, either be a mutual fund, their business, another business, whatever that might be. When a company reinvests their money, there is an assumption that they are going to receive a return. So in this textbook, we the this considered the IRR, the internal rate of return, is going to be the interest rate at which they receive on their investment. So I'd like to lay out a problem for you where a company puts some money out and then in the following years returns gets a return on some money and then has to close down the company which is a negative cash flow. So let me explain this how this works. We have a company and I'm just going to call it Company X. Company X has a cost of capital of ten million dollars. Cost of the cost of capital is twelve percent. They've got a ten million dollar outlay which means is they're going to start a project for ten million dollars whatever that project is. And they're borrowing twelve percent the money twelve percent. Well in year one they are going to make two million dollars. Year three, four, year two, year three, year four, and year five they are going to make three million dollars as you can see here in each of these four years. So in total cash coming into the business is fourteen million dollars and our outlay is ten. Well we have to look at the time factor of this, the time value of money in regards to inflation and interest rates and cost of capital, etc. So we have to figure out an equation that would make sense. Then in year six, the end of year six, they are going to close their operation down because they're they're thinking that the business is going to go out of business. So this could be any type of, say for instance, a mine if you're digging and you run out of materials. This could be a project, you know it's going to come to an end. Maybe you're building or manufacturing airplanes and then you're, this could be like a Boeing or UTC and the contract with the government comes to an end and they need to close down the operation. Or you know you're going to move your, your business from one city to another. So let me just repeat this. Year one you make two million. Years two, three, four, and five, you make three million a piece. And then in year six, you're going to close the business down for half a million. Here's what we know. We know that according to our charts, that 12% at one year, the factor is the cost of capital is 0.8929. Do you remember this from the other things? So I'm going to give you a set of assumptions, and I'm going to ask you to write these down so that you have an understanding of what, where I'm going with this. The assumption is is that we are going to reinvest our profits at the current rate or the 12 percent that's what's given in the equation in front of us that we have three million dollars at four years of profit at 12 percent at the IRR okay the number that we are going to use for our calculation is the first year 12 percent PVF number or let's go back to this 8929. I'm going to explain that in just a second here. And is that because we, in, for your notes, we did not start earning money until the end of year one. So the first two million in profit in year one will be treated at the PVF of K12 and one in our textbook, or 0.8929. These are our assumptions, so as you're writing them down, then I'm going to come back to these. The four years of profit, which would be year two, year three, year four, and year five, those four years of continuous profit of three million, is treated at using a new table called the present value of the future annuities. Okay, so we're going to flip tables because that's this is for our reinvestment. Since we're reinvesting that money, we are going to use the PVF table, and then we are going to close the business at year six and so the closing is year six and we are going to use the K of 12 and we are going to use the N of six or the calculation number is 5.066 so let me show you the PVF table that we're working with this is the back of the textbook 
So we're going to go to the PVF table, and it looks, it's right here in the appendix. So we've been using the PV table, which is on page 791 at 12%. Now we're going to go to the PVFA table for our calculation for the future, for the present value of the money that we receive. So we are going to be here at 12%. So this is the PVF table. Let's see if I can get this into the camera here. PVF table on page 794. So let's set our equation up and let me show you how this is going to work. We know that our assumption is that we are going to put out $10 million. So then what we do know is that C1, year one, we are going to make $2 million in profit. And what we are going to do is we are going to multiply like we did in the other ones of the NPV. We are going to take our one, our we're going to take our $2 million in profit, which is right here in year one. And we're going to multiply that by 0.8929. So by doing so, that's going to come out to be $1,785,800. We're good there. That's what we're going to do. Now in year two, year three, year four, and year five, right here, all of these, we're going to kind of lump those together. We are really, we're just going to lump those together. And we're going to take do this calculation. And we, we're going to say $3 million, which is what they are individually. We're going to multiply that times the 8929 for year one because we didn't start earning our money until the end of year one. And then we're going to do one more multiplication. This is where we're clumping them together. We are taking that $3,000 individually and we're going to multiply that by PVFA 12.4. Now what this 12.4 does is accounts for the number of years at the interest rate right there. So it's a 3.0373. It accounts for four years of interest. So what we did was we took the 3 million and we multiplied it by the 8929 and then we multiplied it by the PVFA because we were investing and just remember we're investing it for four years at 12% at 3.0373. Our total then becomes 81360016, dollars $8,136,016. So, so far we've earned 1,785,800. Then we had 8,136. Now we have to close the company. Do you remember we, we talked about closing the operation? The operation had, it cost us $500,000 to close the operation. Well, that happens in year six. So we're going to go flip back to our tables. We're using two tables to remember this. We're going to go back to the PVF table because we have to come up with that money that's a cost to us. So year six on the PVF table is 0 0.5066. So we're going to take our five million dollars and multiply it by PVF 12.6 or 0 0.056 and we come up with a number of $253,300. To get to our answer all we need to do is we're going to, to take this number right here the 10 million, that's our negative 10 million, and we are going to add it, we're going to add this number to it, then we are going to add this number to it, the 8136, and then we are going to add this number to it, the 253300. We should come up with a number of 175116 when it's totally, when it's all said and done with. So that is our number that we were looking for.